Well, I finally got the bookshop modular building for the city. So obviously it's been out for almost a year now. Never got around to purchasing it until now. Um, but today we're going to be doing a time-lapse build of it. I've also got some row plates which we'll be taking a look at as well in this video. And then we'll obviously get on with the unboxing of this. Obviously, if you just want to skip ahead to the time-lapse, there will be a timestamp in the description. Just thought when I was editing the video that I'd add this bit in just to remind you of that. So, first of all, I'm going to put that to the side there. And then lay down these road plates. Straight road plates. If only they did two of each kind. That's all I wish they'd do. In my opinion, Lego as a company are doing a pretty good job anyway, but I do wish they would put two of each road plates in the same type in every set. So that would be probably the next thing I'd be willing to change if I was at the Lego group. Because that's why I've got some random T-junctions dotted around the city that don't go anywhere. I've also got two of these ones. I've got, I've got a full crossroad here with junctions every turn. And I've finally got some curved road plates. So that is going to be... A great addition to the city. So. These packets are pretty tricky to open. And look at that, got got your crossroad road plate here. I don't know where I put that in the city, but maybe in a future layout. I might do some layout changes. I might um, experiment with some layouts. But there you got a crossroad. And a curved plate there. And these curved plates provide a lot of space for the pavement. You could potentially build on them as well as just have them there for people to walk across. And we've got another two of these curved and crossroad road plates. So, there we go, nice curved road plate, and a crossroad road plate. So that is the first part of my September haul for 2020 finished. So now we are going to move on to the bit that you came for, at least I'm assuming that this is the bit that you came for, because that's what the video title was. But here we've got the bookshop. So... This is how the back looks, and it's it's got some different playability features of the set listed. You can pretty much do whatever you want with a Lego set, as you've always been able to do, but here's some of the playability features. You, I will obviously go up close for the top row, because you can't really see that because of the sun, but as you can see along the bottom, You've got this, a nice cosy looking living room there. I really like that concept. 
And this is the first modular building that's had any form of garden, apart from just the green base plate. So you can grow pumpkins in that garden. And then, of course, you've got the plane there. You can fly it from out of the back window of this set, which is a great detail. They really should do more accessories for the set's mini builds. I think that is a great feature. And that's a way you can join out with other modular buildings. I never got the corner garage in the end because I looked at some other people who've reviewed it. And if I'm honest, it wasn't the most impressive set that I've ever seen. So I decided I'd skip that one because it just didn't look like they lived up to the standard that they've been setting with modular buildings for the past few years. And... Here is some demonstrations of what a modular building does. You can take the floors apart to individually examine each floor and you can join it up to other modulars. So that is a so that's a nice demonstration if this is your first modular building. All right, so I'm going to be unboxing this now. So I'm going to start. I'll go from this end. Uh, it's a bit difficult to unbox, but there in the end. Here's the first box that we have. And that's obviously part of the townhouse. Another part of the townhouse. And naturally that's the bookshop. And part of the townhouse, they're mixed in together. So, I'm glad they've separated it into individual bags it's quite a lot easier like that These seem to be more grey bricks. This must be like the bricks that you get covered up because you don't use them or see them in the set. Uh, a lot of teal bricks here. Two, got there the two base plates there, two green base plates. I haven't seen those in quite a long time. Wow, there really are a lot of bags.
And then there's the last three bags. There's no, there's no more bags in there. Finally, we have the instruction manual, which is all one book. And I'm su honestly surprised they managed to fit it into just one book. But now I'm going to start with a time-lapse speed build. So I hope you enjoy this.
Right, so I've finished the construction of the bookshop. This is where I've decided to place it. So obviously I won't be doing the review in this video because I'm going to do a big in-depth review in another video. But this is where it's going to be placed now. I'm not sure how long it's going to be staying there for because the city is probably due some sort of rebuild now because it's been like this for a few months. But, you know, that's... That's where the bookshop is now, that's where I'll be doing the review from. I suppose this is just my default position to do reviews, best place for the camera. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>